Hello everyone, Chief Kanike here with more Halo 5 news. Apologies for the late video, I only just got my voice back, so now that I can talk, let's get into the news. Right off the bat, 343 Industries has announced that unfortunately the next update, Ghost and Meridian, won't be releasing in March. It's currently scheduled to release in early April, reportedly just missing the end of March by a few days. Which is a bummer, however these updates are free and sometimes delays are better to make sure everything works. I'm not freaking out, it's a little bit of a bummer, but I can wait. They will be revealing details of what's to come over the next few weeks. So now this has me wondering, since Ghosts of Meridian, which we assumed was going to be the March update, which has now been pushed to early April, does this mean that Memories of Reach and Hogwild are pushed back as well, or are they still on track? Because looking at this image, myself and many others assumed that Memories of Reach would come in April and Hogwild in May. However, this is just an assumption as we don't know exactly when all of these updates, including Warzone Firefight, will come. To hold us over in the meantime, 343 released the first official screenshot for Warzone Firefight. In it, we see four Spartans on the map escape from ARC and the tunnels behind the armories. The blue Spartan appears to be wearing an HCS variant for the Protector Armor set. You can see the HCS logo on it, so perhaps this armor will be available when the World Championships take place. The Spartan is also rocking what appears to be fiery ODST or Helljumper weapon skins, as you can vaguely see the Drop Pod logo on it. The Decimator Green Spartan also has some new, kind of psychedelic looking weapon skins for the Assault Rifle and Pistol. Now this screenshot only features 4 players, whereas the teaser had 5. I'm still curious what the player limit will be for Warzone Firefight. Is it 5 players? Could it be more like 8, 12, or possibly 24? I think that would be crazy fun. Fiesta Slayer has replaced Assault in the social playlist for the week, so now you can play it online and outside of custom games, so have fun grinding those weapon accommodations. 3 for 3 is continually tweaking and working on CSR, the March season has brought some updates with it as well. They've updated the CSR curves to better reflect skill within the current population playing each playlist. So each playlist CSR curve has been altered. They're also looking into matchmaking issues where the top players are having issues finding matches. In some heartwarming news, the True Light Emblem, which was made available to all players, is equipped by nearly 50% of all players currently, which is great to hear. I'm definitely wearing it proudly in support of the horrible tragedy. It's also the first animated emblem in Halo 5, which has me wondering how many more we'll see in the future. If you are unaware of the story behind the emblem or the stars that you may have seen in the map tour, there's a link in the description which can tell you more about it. Props for 343 for doing this. And at the end, they tease that more Griffball maps are coming to the playlist in the future. Keep up the great work, Forgers. Here's a teaser of a map that's soon to come. That's all the news within this community update. What sort of things would you like to see in Warzone Firefight? Let me know in the comments below. As always, thank you for watching. Be sure to hit the like button and subscribe for more awesome Halo news and content. My name is Chief Canuck, and I'll see you guys next time.